Hey guys, it's Nikki here, and today I'll be doing a review on the new Art Class dolls. A special thanks to George and Julie Toot from TootsToys.com because they actually gave this to me as a birthday gift, so I'm super happy. Thank you so much again. If you guys want to see a video of me opening these up, link is in the description. There's a little mini haul there. Alright, so I'm going to begin by showing you Abby. She has her pink safety goggles on. And I'll give you a 360 of her flowy hair. You can see her streaks on the side here. And I'll lift it up so you can see her outfit in the back. Turn it around again. And her makeup is blue eyeshadow with a pinky red lipstick. And she's wearing Monster High see-through Skelet blue earrings. And I love her outfit so much. It kind of reminds me of her Wave 1 dress, just a touch different. She has blue fur on the top and bottom, and there's like enlarged snowflake designs on her dress. And her belt reminds me of the Music Festival Abbey, except it's slightly different and it's white. It's like dripping icicles. And my favorite part about Abby is the chainsaw that she comes with. So I'll put my hand against her so it'll focus. It's really cool. Check out the detail on that. I was like, I saw a chainsaw. I'm like, oh my god, that is beyond cool. Monster High horror film waiting to happen. I should do something like that for Halloween. What do you guys think? Anyway, check out her awesome boots that she's got on. There's like ice drippage at the top and they're all like little ropes tied around like cool little winter boots. And check out the wedges. They're all like dripping ice and icicles. I think that's so cool. That's it for Abby. Oh, and by the way, guys, these dolls do come with stands, so yay for stands. She did an ice sculpture of Heath, which is super cool. I'll show you the back. I think it's really nice. Super cute. And she came with a book, and I'll flip through it slowly so you guys could see. So, she talks about in this book, basically, that at the beginning of her art class, they made her use, like, a, a hammer and nail to sculpt the sculpture, but she wasn't comfortable with it, and she wanted to use her chainsaw, so they eventually let her, which was better, because she kept hurting herself on the hammer and nail. And she did a sculpture of Heath, but he kept moving. So there it is. And that's it for that. Next, I'll show you Draculaura. She's super cool. I just love the yellow with her. So she has a yellow bow headband, and her bangs are gelled and curled in the front with yellow streaks and pink. I'll give you 360 so you can see that. Her hair is in an updo, an up elastic, and there's a big yellow streak with pink there as well. Turning it around. She has yellow eyeshadow with a pinky lipstick and a heart on her cheek. She's also got a pink Monster High Skelet earring. And her outfit is super, super cute. I love it so much. Her shirt has a big bow in the middle and it's yellow with paint drippage. She's got a cute little apron. And her skirt is a stiff material with paint splatters. She's also holding a paintbrush. Hang on, I'll put my hand against it so you'll focus. And she's got her little paints over here in the shape of a heart. And getting to the best part, I love her shoes. So I'll let that focus so you can see the detail. If you guys see, the heel is actually squirting paint tubes, which is really cool. And over here is like a skelet and cross paint brushes. It's really nice. I'll turn it around so you can see. Just so cool. I think they did a great job with the art class. Especially Draculaura's shoes. So that's it for Draculaura. And here is the painting she did of herself and Count Fabulous. And I'll turn it around so you can see. And here's a little book that she came with. I think hers is the cutest cover design out of all of them. And I'll flip through it so you can see. So there's Count Fabulous. 
So she talks about how it's difficult to do a portrait of herself since she can't see herself. But she does portraits of herself based on this one that was painted of her in the 18th century in Scaris. So there's the portrait again. Very Picasso. Check out her other ones. And there's Abby's chainsaw. And that's it. Next, going on to Rebecca. I love Rebecca's hair. Like, mostly all of it is blue. I'll give you a 360 of that. I think she looks great in blue hair. Don't you think they should release a Rebecca with just blue hair? That would look really awesome. And I think I just dropped her welding torch. <laughs> she has a purple streak over there. And it's curled at the side here with gel where it's black. Her makeup is purple eyeshadow with reddish lipstick. And a fun fact, on the box art, she's got purple lipstick instead of red. So it's kind of different from the doll. Anyway, and her earrings are little kind of clocks. So check that out. Her outfit is like this cute little dress. It's got suspenders and all these like gear designs over here with metallic. And the shirt is poofy sleeved and has buttons and it's also slightly striped if you see that. And she's got her welding torch that I dropped over here. It's like an old style one. It's not one that you would see nowadays. It's more older. Which is really cool. Check out her shoes. They are so cool. Well, they're rocket boots. Look at the detail on them. I think they're really nice. I'll turn to the side so you can see. And now I will lift, uh, sorry, something just caught caught in my throat. I will lift up the heel so you can see. I'll back up a bit there. Okay, it doesn't seem to be so focusing. Hold on a second, guys. There we are. So you can see the little rockets at the bottom, which was cool detail, cool add-on. And next, I will show you her little robot that she made. Actually, this is a robot clock, and I'll explain why when I open the book, why she made it. Oops, almost fell over. And these are the goggles she came with. I didn't put them on because I didn't want to ruin her hair. But if you notice, it kind of looks like half of a skelet face because there's a bow and then you see the two eyes. It's really cool. And look at the arms. And here is her book. So she made this little guy over here because she's always late. As some of you may know, Rebecca is always late. And I can't turn the page off. Okay, there we go. So she made a little robot clock without a snooze button to help her tardiness. Check out the cool little drawings in there. She says she's not much for art, but she's really good with all this technical drawing. So that's it for Rebecca. Next, last but not least, Skeleta. She is so, so pretty. So I love her headband. It has like a Monster High Skelet flower on it with orange. And I'll give you a 360 of her hair. She's got orange and blue streaks. And it's really curly in the back. Her makeup is really cool. She's got purple eyeshadow with red lips and it's all painted like the Day of the Dead Sugar Skull. It's really pretty and she has like flowers underneath her eyes. She does not have earrings though. Her outfit is really, really cool. So the detail appears really nice. It looks kind of like a spinal cord with curved, curled ribs. And she has a flower belt in the middle here. It's the, oh, sorry about that again. <clears throat> Something's wrong with my throat today. Sorry, guys. Um, there seems to be like a flower skelet theme going on because it's on her belt. And it's on her skirt as well. And it's like all splattered. She has a lace trimming over here too. And check out the vase that she made. Has little flowers in it. And it looks like a Day of the Dead sugar skull. And it has like a little spider web plate. And now I'll open up her book. Oh, I almost forgot her f her shoes. Oh my gosh, sorry guys. 
So her shoes are really cool. They have that flower theme again. I'll turn it to the front so you can see. And you see a nice side and front view like this. They're really pretty. I'll turn it also around so you can see. They're really cool. And over here is her book. So now I'll open it up. So she explains that her abuela, which means grandmother in Spanish, taught was kind of doing this all her life with the urns, like all the art with the urns. So she was kind of inspired by this, but she wanted to go for more of a vase thing. And when she showed her grandmother what she made, she was like really proud of her, it says at the end. And it was she said she couldn't have done it better herself. Alrighty. So that brings us to the end of this video. Oh, I forgot to mention, guys. Stay tuned at the end of the video for pictures of the boxes. I'll be posting them at the end. All right, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to me. Leave a comment. What do you think? Which one's your favorite? Like this video, favorite, share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to watch my other videos. Add me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and Instagram. Links always in the description. All right, thanks so much for watching. See you guys soon. Bye.